The scientific name of crocodile monitors is Varanus salvadori. They are sometimes confused with Asian water monitors because they have similar sounding scientific names, but they are separate species. In fact, crocodile monitors are the only species belonging to the Papasaurus subgenus. Crocodile monitors are found on the island of New Guinea, though the extent of their range is unknown due to lack of study. While Komodo dragons are widely accepted as the largest lizards in the world, crocodile monitors are generally believed to be the longest. They have reached documented lengths of over 11 feet, but there are claims that they've measured more than 14 feet. Either way, that's still almost as long as a car. Of course, most of their length can be attributed to their tails, which are more than double the length of their bodies. They use their tails as a whip to help with the fence, as well as a grip while climbing in the rainforest and mangrove trees. That's right, crocodile monitors are largely arboreal, meaning they spend a lot of time above the ground. It might seem like an odd place for the longest lizard in the world, but to them it's home, with some people going as far as to call them tree crocodiles. Though, their similarities to crocodiles stop pretty much at the name. Their teeth are straight, which is atypical for monitor lizards, who usually have curved teeth meant for holding prey. The crocodile monitor's straight teeth help for tearing into meals, and they eat birds, eggs, rodents, reptiles, and any dead animals they happen to come across. In color, they appear almost black, but also sport bright colors of white, green, or yellow. Their necks are flabby with lots of folds, and they have forked tongues. Since crocodile monitors are basically the top predators, both literally and figuratively, their largest threats are humans. Habitat loss as well as the pet trade could be impacting their numbers in the wild, though this isn't confirmed as they have not been extensively observed in the wild. However, they are listed as an Appendix 2 species on the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, which basically means that any buying or selling of crocodile monitors is closely regulated to make sure that this trading is in no way hurting the survival of the species. When it comes to mating, very little is known about wild crocodile monitor rituals. In captivity, they have been bred successfully, though this is relatively rare. Like most monitor lizards, the males will likely compete for female affections, and once they have won, they will mate if the female allows it. This can be pretty brutal, and actually leave the female with bite wounds on her neck, hence why we said if she allows it. The female will lay a clutch of roughly 10 eggs after about 3-4 to four months, and larger females may produce larger clutches. In captivity, it has been observed that the eggs will hatch after about a month of incubation. The babies will mature until they reach 2 years of age, at which point they are ready to mate as well. Crocodile monitors can live upwards of 20 years in captivity, but we don't know their lifespan in the wild. Crocodile monitors are hunted by people indigenous to where these lizards live. They are considered by these people to be evil tree spirits who walk upright and breathe fire. Almost sounds like a dragon, don't you think? For more facts on crocodile monitors, check out the links in the description. Did you know this was the longest species of lizard? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up for more animal facts, and we'll see you next time on Animal Fact Files.